Welcome to the Potter Blog site, July 24th, 2012. Uh, this evening, local television station is reporting that uh, elevated levels of uh, unknown radioactive materials have been found in the St. Louis stormwater slash sewer system uh, down by the uh, Mississippi River. Uh, the detections were made by uh, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers working in conjunction with the Metropolitan St. Louis uh, Sewer District. Some very concerning aspects of this detection uh, to us, uh, primarily based on the mathematics of uh, what they claim uh, they found and what well, they don't need to, to do any further uh, analysis or any further uh, surveys. Uh, the key statement is, and this is again, this is they say it's an unknown material. They don't know what the material is, but they've uh, identified 2,600 disintegrations per minute of this unknown radioactive material, and they say that the uh, they don't really have to test anymore until they find 6,000 disintegrations per minute of the radioactive material. Now, the thing they don't tell you is to be able to calculate the disintegrations per minute one has to know what radioactive material that you're dealing with so if you don't know what the material is you can't calculate the disintegrations per minute so something is uh, rotten in Denmark if you will on this and what concerns us is, is that the report massively downplays the risk and, and why is it that whenever we have these things occur that the risk is always downplayed and they always seem to give rationale for why they don't need to do further testing and when you look at the rationale it mathematically doesn't make sense there's a lot more to this story and we'll have a link to our website uh, to the actual report from the uh, uh, local television station so you can see it for yourselves. Uh, but this, this bears a lot more investigation than uh, the placating pablum that is occurring. Good night.